All right, so just yesterday, we got word that Bloodsport from the Suicide Squad movies is coming to the Fortnite item shop on August 3rd at the time of reset, which is 8 p.m. Eastern. So there was a reveal trailer by the actor that plays Bloodsport, and his name is Idris Elba. So real quick, just in case you didn't see that little trailer, I'm going to play it for you right now. But it's not the trailer I want you to look at. It's something in the background. So once it plays through, I'm going to break down exactly what I'm talking about, and you guys should be amazed. So here we go. Here's the trailer. Hey, Idris Elba here. Bloodsport is coming to the island, and he's playing for keeps. Lucky for you, I know this mercenary all too well. You're really going to want to pay attention to this. His hands are deadly. Anything, and I mean anything he wields, is legally considered a deadly weapon. Just ask Superman. <laughs> the guy he put in ICU with a kryptonite bullet. He's a world-class marksman specializing in brutality. What did you expect from someone who was trained by their mercenary father since birth? However, what I like best about him is his secret weapon, his high-tech and lethal suit. It allows instant access to all his arsenals of deadly weapons. Perfect for your loadout. Prepare to get some dubs as Bloodsport when he drops in Fortnite on August 3rd. Boom. So if you were paying attention to the background, we got some interesting footage here. So in this image right here, I still framed this image from the trailer. You can see that this is Holly Hatchery. You can see the nanite domes around, but more specifically, if we look at the top right of this image, there's something there. So let me zoom in here and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Look at what we have here. This is a floating island of Slurpee Swamp. So again, this is Holly Hatchery, so Slurpee is directly behind it or north of it, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. So if you weren't aware, the big alien mothership is going to go and basically suck up Slurpee Swamp, Believer Beach, and Corny Complex. So I don't know if it's going to blast these locations with a big laser beam or if it's just going to suck them up and then make them floating almost like we had with Loot Lake in Chapter 1. But as you can see right here, it looks almost as if there's three separate chunks of islands that it split Slurpee Swamp into. So you can clearly see that big barrel on top that's iconic of Slurpee Swamp. But what happens below it? I have no idea. What happens to all the water that used to heal you? Is that going to get taken off the map because we can't really see all we can see is that the islands are floating way above holly hatchery so that's going to be interesting i imagine the vortex is going to be beneath it and that will give us some great mobility but again we can't really see much at all here other than that it appears there's three separate islands from slurpee swamp so that's going to be crazy if we get this effect at three different locations that's going to boost the mobility on the map it should be like the abductors, where if you go near it underneath, it'll zoom you up and then you can fly around without taking fall damage. But this will be pretty interesting and we don't know exactly when this is going to happen. I thought the countdown for the event was going to be towards these events, but it seems more so that it's going to be for the Rift Tour and Ariana Grande. So I don't know, maybe it'll happen during the concert. Who knows? But we have 100% confirmation that at least Slurpee Swamp is going to get sucked out of the ground into the sky into a floating island now if you played in chapter one you'll remember this and this is why i put this on the thumbnail because the same thing happened to loot lake so that involved kevin the cube and the whole island just bloop, lifted right up into the sky and then it proceeded to move around the map who remembers that it moved around the entire map so every day you logged on you'd have great mobility at a different spot tons of people landed there it was so much fun but will these islands that are going to get abducted by the mothership move around the map? I don't know. We do know that Kevin the Cube is returning very soon, hopefully at the end of this season, but if not for season eight for sure. So I'm certain he may have something to do with all this. Good old Kevin. But I just wanted to point this out. In the Bloodsport trailer, they maybe accidentally or maybe it was on purpose revealed that Slurpee Swamp at least is going to get abducted and shot straight into the sky and reveal a floating island. Awesome. So let me know what you think about this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.